So apparently people are pissed off again on Twitter. Let's take a look. Engine X Engineering soon will be launching. Guys, I'm gonna call it Twitter still. Just just you know. Calm calm down. I'm not misgendering Twitter. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's kind of the same thing, actually, isn't it? It actually is kind of the same thing. I'm dead naming it, guys. <laughs> All right. Soon we'll be launching a change to how the block function works. If your posts are set to public, accounts you have blocked will be able to view them, but not engage. Wait, people are mad at this? Big day for stalkers and harassers? It's not blocking, it's supporting stalk. Holy fuck. God, take your take your meds. Everyone take your meds. What is this, dude? What are these people talking about? What are they talking about? Let's break this down. Let's break this down real fast, okay? Let's use a little bit of logic here. All right, friends? If you make a public post, right? A public post, and then you block someone from seeing your public post, what does it do? It does literally nothing. Because they could just go on an incognito mode or make a new account and then view your public posts. How does this change literally anything? All it does is makes it makes it so people have like less burner accounts, I guess. Like, I don't get this. I don't get any of this outrage. Idiotic idea. Your app will be barred from the Apple store as well. Dude, like it doesn't matter. It fucking idiots doesn't change anything. Why are you guys so? Oh my God, dude. Please close gate. This is what it already looked like. Why even put the gate there? You know, I mean? this was literally what it was in the first place. People's defense, it takes extra effort to make a burn. Oh my God. Dude. So first off, they're using like, literally, they're going as far as possible by saying that the person is a stalker. So you're telling me the person that doesn't go far enough that goes so far enough that you would call them a stalker that they wouldn't make another account? What the fuck? <laughs> That's true. Her stalker has 50 burner accounts. That's true. Oh my god, dude. At least at least at least get outraged over something that matters. Okay, what's this? This is the new one, apparently. There's there's like two apparently. I will be moving to blue sky due to Twitter's new TOS it is unbelievably awful. You will have no choice but to opt into your content being used in AI scraping. I like how they use this this phrase AI scraping because it sounds so nasty. You know what I mean? Like it sounds nasty. Like AI scraping. But this is literally just the AI is looking at your stuff. Like Twitter will now have a, a royalty free license on your content. You will get no compensation. Okay, this is interesting. So I'm guessing Blue Sky is like a uh, Twitter alternative. By submitting, posting, or displaying content or through the services, you grant us worldwide non-exclusive royalty-free license to use, copy, reproduce, process, adapt, modify, publish, transmit, uh, upload, download, distribute each such content or any media uh, for any purpose. Um, e yeah, because it's a public platform. So this is the old one. This is the old one. You retain your rights to any content you submit, post, or display through the online services. What's yours is yours, you own your content. But by submitting, posting, or pu displaying the content through the services, you grant us worldwide non-exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason why this part exists, this this like first part, um, this makes sense because otherwise they can't display your content. Does that make sense? Like if you, if you post something on Twitter, obviously you are giving them some sort of rights to actually like show it on their website because you're doing it. Yeah, it's pretty standard because they're not they're they're not paying you. You're not a like an employee, right? So like they have to have this so that when you post stuff, you can't sue them for having your own stuff on their website, right? So that's what this make this makes sense. So this is the only change apparently. Like, if I saw this, so this, uh, so it's this one. So this is the change right here. Where's the part about AI? Because I'm I'm, I, I'm that's the, that's the issue, right? That's what people are mad at. You agree that this license includes the right to us to provide, promote, and improve the services and make content submitted to through our service available to other companies. Okay. So what's the part they added? Right here. You agree that this license has the right to analyze text. Wait, is that part in there? It sounds like data selling stuff. Yeah, but that's what they all do. To be honest, that's kind of like how the internet, that's, that's, how, they, that's how they do things on websites. Not that I like it. I always decline every time I can, but you know how it is you agree 
that this license gives us the right to analyze text and other information you provide and to otherwise provide, promote, and improve services, including the use of training in our machine learning and artificial intelligence models, whether generative or other type. So basically what they're saying is that like anything that you post, they can use on Grok, I guess. No one else on my friend switching to Blue Sky. Um, <clears throat> You'll be back soon, you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. You'll be back, time will tell. You'll remember that I served you well. Oceans rise, empires fall. <laughs> but like, actually, I, I, I actually think that that I mean, it's kind of good, honestly. It, it, it's honestly a good thing if there's more competition for for X, obviously. But I do think that they probably will be back. <laughs> I don't know, man. The song you sang earlier, Leaflet, is the kids of and everything switches back to X full cir circle moment. Yeah. Mm hmm. The problem is this isn't competition. It's not really because I, I, I bet you, I guarantee you that this first part right here, that Blue Sky has this too. For sure they have this. The only difference between Blue Sky and and X really is that Blue Sky doesn't have Grok. <laughs> it's like pretty much the same thing. And and even then, like, okay, let's even assume that X doesn't have Grok. It doesn't matter because it doesn't prevent other people from doing it. Does that make sense? Because if you go if you go on Blue Sky and you post your art on there, what's to prevent like a person from doing the same thing? Yeah, it it it, it doesn't really change anything. Um, I think people just don't like the them saying that like listen we can do it because you know it says there we can do it but it's not it doesn't really change anything the thing that like that that's that is kind of like very interesting about ai to me is like at what level can you prevent it you so you guys saw like the elon musk robot thing right so like say in like 10 years you had like one of those and you could tell it like hey elon robot i want you to like scroll through twitter for me like go through my follows and uh i like all those artists can you like look at their stuff and learn how to draw like that and then the robot's like yes i will learn how to do it and then it and then it does it like what's what do you do you know <laughs> it's 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 basically the same thing with extra steps you know they don't like they're being forced to agree with it it's it's been there anyway so twitter is just covering itself essentially yeah it doesn't really change much especially the first one so this one is just kind of schizo shit honestly like like the, the the people that are mad at this honestly are they need they need to like just take one step forward in logic. They need to like think about it really before like before reading this and getting enraged by it. They need to think about like what effect does this actually have? It, it basically has no effect. It's not really anything at all. In fact, the type of people that they are saying are going to abuse this are the people that would have abused it anyway and will abuse it as in they will make a new account. So it doesn't really change anything, right? Like it, this is like a change that affects not even like 0.001% of people. So this isn't really a big deal. And really this only affects people that like have a pretty significant following in general, I think, to actually have people you'd want to lock out of your content like that bad. And th again, this doesn't solve anything. Uh, the only way to really solve it is to set your, your, your tweets to private or like only allow certain people to see your tweets, which you can do as far as I know. You can have it so that only people within a certain circle can see your tweets. So in that case, you would just do that, right? I mean, the problem is like in the stalker argument, if you were to say like, well, the stalker's going to know that I'm going to, the stalker's going to know that I'm going to the Olive Garden tomorrow because I tweeted it. Well, it doesn't matter because the internet knows it. The internet knows and doesn't forget. You know what I mean? Like the internet is going to know every if you post anything publicly on the internet, the internet itself will know. So there's no way you can get around it. The only way you could you could get around it is by posting things privately. You'd have to make like a private account for like special things like that. Or I don't know, honestly have better opsec. Like stop stop telling people where you're going to go. Right? Like if you tell people I'm going to be at this convention, that doesn't prevent the stalker from knowing that you're going to be at that convention. This isn't going, this isn't going to make it any different. Anyway, so like the major contention here I see is like the AI thing is that it's going to use stuff for the generative models or whatnot. It, it, you know, it, it is, an, it is, it is an interesting to think about. Like, I'm like, how much of that is related to your, is related. The, the main argument I can see against this is like, 
how much of that is related to like your likeness as a person, right? Because I, I was thinking about it last night with like vocal AI and it's like that one is a lot more tied to like your physicality, right? So it's really interesting. All this is going to do is cause AI to self terminate. But like, I don't think it actually changes anything like really, because again, I guess it's the agree. It's the agreeing to it that people don't like. That's possibly it is the is the saying like, I agree to this. That might be the problem because effectively, like in in terms of its actual effect on AI, this doesn't do anything really. This is not any different than blue sky, but in terms of like your will as a person, that's, I can see that being an issue. So in effect, it doesn't mean anything. This won't stop China from training AIs. Yeah, it won't. It won't. It won't. The, the, the pro guys, that's the problem with AI is AI is the Pandora's box. It's been open. It's over. There's, there's, there, there's the, the age of AI is here and there's like literally no way to go back. It's the same thing with like computers or anything, right? nuclear energy once somebody discovered nuclear energy it's over it's like it exists now it, it, except uh, nuclear energy is a little bit less bad because at least it's resource intensive it uses like rare materials but computing is not rare it's not computing itself is not a rare asset right it's it's a very common thing that can be reproduced you can make more of it um computing computing itself is not a rare material um so once it once it exists it's there's no way you could put it back you could you could take it back because again even if we stop doing it everyone else will do it right the internet was a pandora's box of info availability ai is the pandora's box of making full use of it well you know what's interesting to me do you guys ever think of it like this so what is the problem people have with ai the problem a lot of a lot of the problem is like oh well it it's taking away jobs it's taking away the aspect of human creativity effort. I mean, that's jobs. So it's taking away things that like humans have to use their creative minds for. That's the difference, right? Because I mean, let's, let's guys, let's be real. Let's be like a hundred percent honest here. People don't give a fuck about the effort part. It's, it's just, the, it's just, the, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not just saying this on my ass. Like it's, it's actually true because when automatic robotics were invented and like assembly like you know like those automatic assembly lines that like creates like um like for instance uh you have a a machine that fucking you put the glass into and like it makes bottles and then it creates like the 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 you know coke and then it like pours the coke into a bottle people had to do that before You'd, you had to have people like literally like blowing the glass to make the bottle and then you have the bottle and then you have it go down the line and then person had to fill the bottle and then cap it. Yeah, you, you had all that before, but then now machines do all that, right? So it's not really about effort. I don't think because I, I don't see anyone be complaining about that. I mean, sure. People probably complained about it like a hundred years ago or something, or I don't know, whenever the like actually robotics wouldn't have been a hundred years ago it would have been when, when did they make like basic robotics that could do stuff like that? Like assembly machines. That'd be like, maybe like, maybe like, what, 60 years ago, 50 years ago? I don't know. But I don't see anyone nowadays complaining about it. Yeah, the printing press. Yeah, I talked about it yesterday about how before the printing press, you had to like train scribes. You had to train, train you had like trained monks that would copy books. And then the printing press came out and now it's like, okay, well, we put the thing together and like, boom, 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 boom. Now you have hundreds of books, right? Of the same book. Um, and, uh, you know, that took away that art form, right? So it's not the effort. It's really not the effort that people are upset at. So what are they upset at? They're upset at like some kind of creative aspect. I'm, I'm trying to, trying to think about it. it. It it must be some kind of the human mind being creative and solving problems through creativity. So here's my question. Okay. Let's say you could create a robot AI that could stand on the backs of every researcher that happened before it. And then the AI, AI's entire purpose is to find like a cure to cancer. I don't think anyone would be against that. Am I wrong? Do you think, do you think artists would be against that? I don't think so. They would be against it. Really? You think so? When factories made hand weaving obsolete, they threw their shoes called sabotage into machines. Hence the word sabotage. Wait, really? <laughs> is that real? 
Is that actually real, JD? I didn't know that. That's crazy. Is that real? Did you make that shit up? Before Mr. Beast got all his blowback, people were pissed off that he was fixing people's eyes. You know what, you, dude? You know what's crazy, actually? It's like simultaneously the worst thing and simultaneously the best thing is that because X exists and the internet exists, you can see all of humans, all, all of human frustration amplified. You can see it like, because if you had someone pissed off before, it would either be like a physical riot, which is like, that's effort, right? People don't really like to get together the riot. Or it would be like a, an uncle that was just like raging at like a family dinner. But now it's like, you can see everyone's raging, like in real time. Anger without borders. Yeah, it's it's wild. Not only that, it's like the extremes of humanity. It's not just it's not just the rage. It's you see everyone's rage, everyone's happiness, you know, the FOMO aspect of like, wow, like everyone's doing better things than me. Like you see everything simultaneously. And it's it's crazy. It's like you can see it at your fingertips wherever you are. People overshare when it's online. Without a face to see, you get disconnected to it too. Yeah. Rage against the AI. Yeah, but like, I wonder like where, 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 th this is what I'm saying is like, what is the problem? What is the problem with AI? Like, where is the issue? I'm trying to like discover that, you know, is the issue the jobs thing? Cause it's clearly not right. Because like, would you be against it? Like, okay. Okay. You know what? Let me, let me say something a little bit more, a little bit more at home for you guys. Okay. I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to use like some big humanitarian thing. I'm going to use like something that is more like to our hearts as gamers. If I told you right now, like, okay, we're going to program an AI and it's going to fast track us to making, um, it's going to fast track us to full dive, full dive gaming. If, if we use AI, we'll get full dive gaming in five years, but like we need to use AI and it needs to like learn about like all of like, it needs to like pull from neuroscientists needs to pull from, um, uh, you know, game designers needs to pull from like every video game ever made. And it needs to like understand like what's fun about it and all that and, and all that and needs to learn about stories and it's like we'll get we'll get like a full dive mmo in five years would you like would you like say like 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 no i don't like that because ai is making it or would you be like fuck yeah you know what i mean and, and again i'm not you know, you know let's let's for the sake of argument like there's no kayaba situation or there's no kayaba situation or anything like that it's gonna work it's gonna work and it's gonna work well i'd allow it just to see how it plays out but why though okay okay i have a question who who here is against AI? Is anyone here against AI? I, I, I that's why I want to ask the question because I want to know like what they think about it, right? Because I know some of you guys are okay with AI. Then, you know, then of course you'd be okay with this against AI art. I'm partially against AI. So Felix, okay, would you be against? Would you be against that then, Felix? I'm against it if it takes away jobs. Wait, you are? Adventure Sam. So, so are you are you against automation then, Adventure Sam? Just out of curiosity, like, are you, are you against automation? Yeah. Does, does, does the type of job matter to you? Adventure Sam, like, are there some people that they, it's okay if they lose their jobs. And then there's other people that they, they should be able to keep their jobs via AI. Kinda. Okay. Like who, like, okay. Say you're, you have the absolute authority at Adventure Sam. Say you have absolute authority and you can choose okay we have ai ai exists what jobs can ai replace and what jobs can ai not replace i think the argument is if you don't like ai art then you have to be against automation isn't a good comparison ai art is using people's copyrighted content without permission usually you have to pay to use copyrighted content the policy change is an issue because it forces everyone to agree to have their work trained yeah i i, I think in that specific case really i kind of see what you mean in the, in in the case of like well, the thing is, again, like we can agree, right? That this doesn't actually do anything in terms of like actually preventing a person's art from being put up um, as in like the blue, as in the, 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 the actual issue of, I don't want AI trained off of my art. This wouldn't solve it. Correct. But what this does do though, is it does force you to bend the knee, which I can see why people would be against that. Most people have been sampled are not being paid for the work being blended up into a shitty slot for sale. Well, so, so I guess, can I, can I draw an example to other things? So I guess, I guess for me, what about the human artists? They see the others. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to bring that up too. I was going to bring that up too, Julio. That's kind of what I was trying to think about how to, how to bring it up. Basically 
Th that's why I brought up the, the issue of like a robot. So like, say I had a robot that learned like a person because AI kind of does learn like similarly to how, how it, 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 it's, it's a neural network, right? So if there was a person, like you say you created like an AI robot, right? Like say, say it was a robot that was like pretty close to human. And then you told it to like scroll through Twitter to look at people's stuff. Like what's the difference, you know? It doesn't learn like us though. That's why AI poisoning is so effective. Well, the, well, here's the, here's the thing, Rainy, is the poisoning would be effective also against people. The, the, the big difference is that um, the only reason that, if you're talking about things like glaze, the reason why those, those things work is because AI is more visually acute than we are. Does that make sense? It's able to see, it's able to see like small detail that we can't see as like, as like humans. So say like I took a human, right? Like I took, a, I took a human being, say I took a little kid and I, I locked them in a room and I basically said, um, your job is to draw people. So you give them like a bunch of anime art, right? But every single anime art you give them, the person has 11 fingers. There's always 11 fingers in like every picture then they're going to assume that there is 11 fingers on people. Does that make sense? And, and, and that's why that's why AI also has a lot of trouble with hands because people have a trouble drawing hands in general. The difference is AI doesn't have consciousness as in the part of the human condition. It doesn't create the results of its own perspective, but as the result of imitation. Okay, but how about, how about the AI in tandem with a person? Because AI doesn't function really, at least in the form that we're talking about it, it's not really functioning on its own. It, it's kind of, it's kind of similar to, I guess the best comparison I can draw is photography, right? So if you had like a camera, like say you had like a, like a drone and then you sent the drone out and then you literally just had it take a thousand, like a thousand pictures a second as it was traveling, you wouldn't really consider those photos art, right? Am I wrong? You wouldn't, right? If I just said like, if I just sent it out there and I just said like, take a picture of everything literally. And it just like flew around and just took like, millions of pictures would you consider any of those individual pictures to be art we talk about ai so much on here i actually like debating it honestly i think it's fun uh but no i wouldn't consider drone photography that's taken at random as art okay would you consider it art then if like there was a operator of the drone and the operator of the drone told the drone to go to a specific place at a specific angle at a specific time and then to look in a certain direction and then take that picture would you then consider that that art that's basically what all those telescope scope photos are about yeah 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 that, that yeah if you if you don't know about telescope photography like like tel like uh usually it involves like some kind of uh program and then has a telescope that's on like a tripod and then uh, I, I know because my mom has one of these and then you basically tell it to like point at a very specific spot in the sky and then take like a exposure of like x amount you basically have parameters with photography, it's art when it's done in the very intentional way that's trying to convey something. Okay, so what if there was a person behind the AI picture that was trying to convey something in a very intentional way? Is that not, does that not count as art now? Do you see what I mean? What's the difference between that and the photography? Uh, I, I'm speaking like, like strictly um, artistically right now, not like utilitarian. Like obviously like utility wise, it doesn't matter. Because, because China and all the other countries are going to use AI regardless of what we do. And if we, if we say we won't use any, any AI, um, we're just going to fall behind. It's a difference as me Googling something and saying I made art. What's the difference between that? Um, it's me as Googling something and saying I made art. No, uh, no, that's, that's not true because, uh, because, okay. So say you, I'm out of curiosity. Have you, have you, have you tried using AI to make art Felix? You have. Okay. So like, you know, then that like you could set the scene and you could make it look exactly how you want it, right? Novel character design specifically, and it's useless. Uh, why is it useless? What's, uh, what's useless about it out of curiosity? You can't properly get consistency and it's too random. Have you tried making these? You have to make one of these first. You have to make a, a cref first before you can actually use it for other stuff. Use it, you, you, you have to make a, you have to make a character reference before you actually do the other stuff. And yeah. And never mind, you can just edit the AI image. You can, I mean, everyone does that, that uses it. Consistency between characters and intent. It's kind of hard, I will admit, but then you can, do, you can do it. Consistency between characters. The problem that AI has right now is it can't do multi-character scenes. It can only do two at the most. 
it's limited right now but like let's say it's not limited for something like pokemon's where it doesn't matter it's fine like say say like eventually it, it did work then so the pro is the problem that you have with it a problem of utility as in it doesn't look good to me right now or is the problem moral uh jb uh george says i can give a little bit of context i work for a company that designs props for other companies i work on the copywriting side of things uh but the prompts we design for other companies are specifically hiring to eliminate employees empl eliminate employees and replace them with ai automation so people losing their jobs the ai is happening now oh yeah I, I don't i don't doubt that it's been happening probably for years before that bef before even the before even the art thing um, i mean uh, am i wrong about that uh edward it, it's it's been happening um just in other fronts the ai thing the ai art thing is more recent but before that it was already they were already doing that for to me not limited it's not what we call ai that's just generators you're talking about true for it to not be limited um we would generators what, what do you mean felix i'm just confused so like what if we did have true so 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 your problem with it felix uh sorry so your problem with it felix is an issue of it how it appears visually and its ability to be used rather than morality correct which is like fine i i think that's that's an that's an that's a good argument let's be real it's AI. we're saying gaming ai it's not entirely that it's consistent it's that many of the different styles and traits don't have specific or popular terminology to inform what you want again i can actually see why people are mad at it it's the you're forced to say yes right I, I mean, I'm the type of person that would be stubborn over that. Like, you'll never get me to say yes. Fuck you. Like, I'm, I'm like that. So, so I can see, I can see the artist being upset about this. But in terms of like its actual, in terms of its actual effect, uh, this is very little effect. I think. I think most people, most people are taking are 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 kind of uh, most people are being upset for no reason. Most people are. But there are a handful of people that are just like, you'll never get me to submit. Fuck you. And again, I'm that kind of person. So I can actually see people getting mad at it. That's the reason I can. Just as like, just as I'll never bow down. I'll never bow down to you. Fuck you. Yeah, I, I would totally do that. So I, I, I can see it. I can see it. But again, it doesn't really fix anything. This is like, if, if the, if the, if the point of moving to blue sky is I don't want people to use my art for AI stuff, it's not really going to help in my opinion. This is blue sky. No, this is a X. This is X. This is a pirate software tweet from X. The whole, the whole, like the whole bend in these is, is, is uh, I don't like that. I'm kind of a rebel, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of weird. I, I don't like it when people tell me what to do. I believe uh, that AI has introduced automation manufacturing in fields that was pre previously almost entirely uh, artisanal. The consequences of automations is already significant and needed to it longer to elaborate. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Like like I said, automation's been around for longer than now. The only reason why everyone is up in arms about it is because it's attacking the creative like sector now. They should pay artists when AI learns from their art, like we paid teachers. Um. Hmm. I have to think about that. It's really how this conversation in a civil manner because AI tech bros, uh, hold on, wait, um, because AI tech bros aren't helping with, with what they're doing with AI art, to be honest. NFTs are basically the first wide scale attempt at to use AI art and it's just gambling. Oh yeah. I mean, I think, I think, you know, I think really, I like it is true that people are kind of taking it a little, a little crazy also on the pro AI side. I definitely think so. Because the thing is, is you do have to be a little bit sympathetic towards the fact that people are losing their jobs. And I think people try to act like that's not a, a thing. I, I mean, obviously it's going to happen regardless. There's nothing you can do about it, but it's, it, it, it is not like a, I don't know. You know, a lot of it seems, you, you know what I actually think? I think a lot of it is actually vengeful. A lot of it is pretty vengeful, right? Because I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a whole thing before. Um, this was like, maybe I want to say. 10 years ago there was like 10 years ago where people that were like for instance they were working in like mines and shit and people were like and, and they were losing their jobs and people were saying like just learn how to code right so like i feel like there's also a sentiment of like yeah get fucked now it's your turn remember when you said all that shit get fucked i bet you there's a lot of that sentiment as well
I find it funny that people are surprised that AI is taking over digitized jobs first. Well, because you... Well, the reason why, Fats Phil, the reason why AI is taking over digitized jobs first is because you didn't need... You don't need, like, the same level of sophistication of automation in order to take over a manual labor job, right? Like a fucking Amazon robots and shit, right? Like robot... Like robot, like forklifts and robot... You know, all of that sort of stuff. Drones. You know, drone pilots, right? AI drones. Yeah, but the amount of people that died each year, uh, the majority are just wanting to be mad at each other because of the extremes of social media. Yeah, I mean, social media definitely does, like, make make the... It makes the pot boil, you know? Learn to code was a funny time in hindsight, given how crap most software is now. Uh, I mean, the, the, the problem is, too, is humans have different stats in general. I don't think everyone is capable of coding, which is why that, like, whole thing is, like, kind of stupid. It's like telling like these these you know these strength stat people to like you know go go do some int skill you know it, it it it's actually like stupid to do that 